that I post one of these days, I think you saw it, it was like a statistic of the most entrepreneurs women are located in Angola. And it's more with, because of necessity and like needs, not actually because it's like innovation and stuff. So when I'm talking about that, it's like, we are saying, we are saying that around 60 or probably 80% of women are independent now. You know, because most of them they like have businesses and all of that. So we are getting to the point that they get independent around what, 90 years old or like 20. Yeah, there is a lot, especially now with COVID. I think in like a lot of girls have like their own businesses now in Angola. Like it's crazy. Like the, so the area is getting so saturated. <laughs> yeah, the area is getting so saturated that it, in my course, I have a different perspective because a lot of people are like, hey, yeah, well yeah. done and everything. But for me, it's like, I think it's bad, not bad in a bad way. It's just like, I feel like it's more um, needs because my country is not addressing certain situation and there's a lot of unemployment yeah. right now. So people are doing more because they need money, not actually because they know what they're doing, which means that it could have yes. a lot of disadvantages right. later. But yeah. it's not, that's not the point. The point here is that, um, the fact that they're so independent, they already think, oh, I have my money, like I have my business, so who are you? You know what I mean? So like a lot of relationships or I don't know, they're trying to like, I don't know, start families and, and stuff like I get into the point that he already, he already finds it with everything. He already finds it in the position of if you do something, I'm kicking out, like I don't have time. Like. I'm not having this. Like, even if it's just a small argument, if it's just a small thing, like, Girl. we are so independent and we have <laughs> everything that people are now taking advantage of that. And now, like, they're so open minded that actually have discussions on that on Twitter. They're like, oh, I'm not going to cook for any man. Like, I didn't grow up to cook for any man. I didn't, even for parents. Like, they got to say, <laughs> the level of yeah, like, they got to a level. <laughs> They didn't even yes. respect their parents anymore in a way of like, I have my things and I'm not, I'm not responsible to take care of you or like, I'm not like, I don't know, like the mentality is changing so much that people have like less empathy now, even towards their own family kind of way. So I feel like that's what Tweddy was saying and we kind of agree, like they're taking the wrong side of it instead of taking the right side. and doing bigger things in terms of like, I don't know. I think like in Luanda, I'm not gonna say in Angola because I feel like, yeah, let's say Luanda. I feel like there's like three provinces that you actually can hear about without having to go to the province to actually know what is their opinion. But like, I feel like like for Luanda, Lubangu and Benguela, which is like the provinces that at least I have more information on, like you'll see two groups of, of women or girls, like the ones that know not, most nothing about feminism or like uprising of women and the ones and then the ones that do but like on those ones they do you see how they actually know what is feminist feminism about they actually do it because or like believe in it because they actually believe on those things and the other half that is probably just doing because of the trend mm -hmm. because yeah. <laughs> the women outside in the world are feminists and there is this but and how feminism is now spoken about they don't actually know what it is about per se just because that's how it is so they will be posting oh yes i'm a feminist but then what they're gonna be saying later on is not really in agreeing agreement with feminism that they're gonna extrapolate because oh it's about women doing what they want to do so they're like yes i'm gonna do what i want to do because that's the, I'm, I'm a feminist um it's not you should go into that and then it just puts it also like and then you see other women that maybe they don't know much about it and men as well like ridiculizing like there will be something that happened to be like yeah aren't you a feminist isn't this what feminists do or they will be posting things like oh what are the feminists at just because of like things that don't really have anything to do and usually i get really mad about it because i know some of these people that post like i'm like wow we started together <laughs> we grew up together how can you be this close-minded or even maybe it's not about them being closed minded. I think it's also about you not even trying to look for the information because how can you be speaking about something you didn't you read? Know. Like, I know you, we studied together. We were taught to like, just not speak about it. And then I know what you're studying, like you're at an university level. How come you speak about things without actually reading before? 
-hmm. and you just be speaking about big concepts like feminist and not just some word for you to throw around oh i'm a feminist or oh, you are feminist actually know about the things before starting saying so i think like in terms of evolution there is the women in luanda they do know about it and they do believe in it and they do act on it but there's also doomers they just do it for the trends and they make it look they made it look like they are involved in it but then when you ask about specific things you can hear that there's just as backward as the old generation what is it telling because the definition of feminism yeah, needs to yeah. be applied to the environment in which you live you know and the definition of feminism from a european and westernized perspective might be very different from african perspective of feminism maybe the way of expressing the feminism is from an African side by being over violent, over hey, okay, now, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell, tell me, you, you think that's too much? Yeah, there's opportunity cost to independence. Like there's, you always forgot something to have, like, as you said, come on, there's like a level you can be a feminist, independent, whatsoever, but still keep your values. Like mm. keep your rest, keep your dignity, keep your and all this. But when you go around running in the street, say, "Oh, I'm a feminist," but then you go back home. What are you doing? Nothing. You say you don't want to cook for your parents. Okay, cook for yourself. I like, can you sustain yourself? Like I don't know. Can you? Mm. Again, we are not saying oh, that's the status quo of like women passage that oh, you grow up, you marry, you educate. But then mm -hmm. at point, at the point, you will still find yourself in that situation. So can you manage that? Don't just go out and talk. Yeah, I think it's like, like you don't say, oh, I'm not going to raise my daughters not to cook because mm. they're not going to grow up to cook, cook for someone. You can just shift that into, I'm going to raise all my children to know how to cook because at mm. the end of the day, they're going to be grown as women. They need to know how to sustain themselves, whether they are females or males. Yeah. I think it's just the way that you think about it and you raise other children about it. It's not like you're doing things for someone else. Mm -hmm. You're doing it for yourself. I think that's like kind of the difference mm -hmm. because women will be like some of the some of them will be thinking, oh, I'm learning this, I'm learning that for that person. Mm -hmm. But it should be shifted to like I'm learning this because I'm becoming like a grown person. Mm -hmm. This is what a grown person should do. Mm -hmm. And that's actually very interesting because I think I'm not gonna say my parents fail, but I feel like a lot of parents do fail, especially the ones that have boys in teaching than that mm -hmm. because you can like wait like you can actually expect from african men just to think certain things you know what i mean mm -hmm. right i have learned <laughs> so many things mm -hmm. like starting from let's say relationship they're already like oh no like i don't need to take um contraceptives because that's a woman job why is it a human job if at the end of the day we are doing both of us mm -hmm. and there's a lot of milk and yeah even coming more like you know what i mean <laughs> yeah like or um i don't need to i don't need to cook because that's your job like i need to have a wife that can cook i need to have a wife that can clean what about you taking care of yourself you know what yeah. i mean like yeah. a lot of them they are already in like they are already closed mind of I don't know. I, I mean, they, they are raised that's to true. expect that. that yeah, they, it's, yeah, and sometimes it's because the parents say that. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Oh, you girls do this. You're doing it for the man. And men, really, they're not taught to do anything for the girls. It's like, even or just taught to grow up as, you know, an independent human being, like she was saying. You shift the yeah. framing of things instead of, oh, you're doing it for this person, you're doing it for that person. It's for your development as a yeah. human being. But even the mothers, they are the ones who say that. They are actually yeah. like, oh, you need, like, my, you actually need to find a good wife. Because if you don't uh -huh. have a good wife, or, I'm not going to accept. Or, you or it's, to like, it's like when you go to your boyfriend's house, oh, so do you know how to do this? Because my <laughs> yes, son likes it. Yes, and exactly. you must do it right. Uh, I think there was a picture that was even going around on Instagram that I saw. That it was actually in Angola. And this girl, I think yeah. it was, um, we have... Um, Something that we call a or which is the bride price in other countries. Yeah, oh, yeah. before you actually get married. Mm. And then in that day, she was with her beautiful dress, but she was making puff. She was literally uh, like, okay. and we're not talking she about a big, really a, she a, a, a small puff. like puff. You're talking about a big puff. Yeah, she also had this in my culture. Oh, she, <laughs> that yes. is her day. Okay, can we have Hamira say? I think she want to say a few things. If you want to say a few things, I think this is the right moment. Okay, okay, I just, I just agree with you guys. It's the same thing back home. So I don't really think I'm going to add anything new because 
yeah, they always expect women to do things and men to do certain stuff. And I think that mentality has changed. And I was actually having a conversation with a friend about women empowerment and all that and how it's... I don't know if you guys know Kevin Samuels. Do you guys know him? He's getting so popular here in the US and he has a YouTube channel. And he's talking about how women are... He's talking about the, the fact that women has to be more uh, submissive. And a lot of people hate on him because he's saying that women should be submissive and women think that independence is good, but independence is not good. And some people give the example of Beyonce being independent and other people say she's not independent because she depends on her husband. Anyway, I'm going too far. But the thing is, yeah, I yeah. think both yeah. gender actually go exactly <laughs> way, in a way when it comes to independence and what a woman should do and what a man should do. I've heard about queens. Yeah. <laughs> my, other, my other question is that we, I think from the conversation we are having, I feel like we are having a clash of, first is that women are evolving faster than men mentality. Ah, and that's it. Yes. And the is also that, who do you think the responsibility lies more on changing mentality? Parents. You or parents? Yeah. I think I right now, I think, I think it's all for, of us. Yeah, yeah, but like for our generation, at least like we are like 20, 21, I think that it relies a lot on us. Like for mm. our mentality, like for males, yeah. they are our age, they are like, I think it relies on them because no parents. But, but they're already stuck in the. They're well, not stuck. Thing, we will make they're them feel stuck. like they will do. It's stuck. Like, I'm telling you, we have like friends. have future husbands or future boyfriends. That's something that they need to be aware of. Oh, just <laughs> definitely. Or also, oh, just be, as because, because, no. because <laughs> friends and family. Because, yeah, yeah I think they're supposed to yeah. be aware. Because I think, and I feel like that, because I actually heard from my friends. Because I think one time I was like, why don't you think I have a boyfriend? And he was like, you don't have a boyfriend because you expect them like to do too much. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, they are even, like, is becoming too much. Yeah, and then yeah. even like, even boys, they're afraid to approach you. Because they know they that they know that it's they know it's, level. It's, it's, like it's too much. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's also something that they kind of need to know. Like mm. the more they relate with you and they're around you, that's what I feel. Yeah, like. like because I have male friends that they didn't grow up knowing how to cook, knowing how to do certain things. But at this point, they're learning on their own. They'll be like asking, mm -hmm. "How do I do this?" Or like, "Can you teach me that?" Or stuff like that. Or, and there is male friends of mine that, like, they kind of grew up knowing the basic, but, okay, I won't say from home, but I would say, like, from other places, like, one of my best friends, he grew up, like, in Scout, and from Scout, like, going camping or whatever, they learned these things because it's, like, basic survival. Mm -hmm. And then other friends of mine, like, my boyfriend, he didn't grow up cooking, but, like, at the, like from, since I've known him, like, there is things that he's, like, oh, can you teach me that? Oh, can you help me with this? Like, it's not, like this expectation to do it just because he didn't learn there is but there is like this intent of actually learning how to do it mm. so i think for our generation it's like it's up to us to actually open our eyes and our other friends eyes to actually like know okay this is how things are but like for younger generations i think it's on parents do i like the one before us like, like um, the one after, after us. us. After us, yeah. After us, yeah. But I also us. think we still have a role to play, even with the younger generations, just in the sense that, like, uh, the older ones are still, like, those ones are hard to convince, you know. At least we're mm -hmm. already starting these conversations. So as much as we're trying to influence, like, the males around us right now in our generation, we should also be impacting those who are younger, you know. It's pretty hard. Yeah, and yeah. Also, like, I feel like even for us to make, like, at least differences or change, or, you know, this whole evolution of mentality, I think men need to be proactive as well in this conversation. They need yeah. to be willing to learn. You know, like she's giving examples of like her friends and we also gave mm -hmm. examples. They should want to learn these things. We shouldn't be the ones who are, you know, constantly trying to change things and, you know, make things different. Men should be active as much as women are if we're going to make actual change. I think proactive is the word because yeah. at least in my household, 